These 8th graders are having a biology lesson on conditioned and unconditioned reflexes. The lecture is being interrupted by a fire emergency and children have to evacuate the premises. Half a thousand kids left the building in 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Each teacher was responsible for their class. According to the list, we have 27 children in the class. We have 19 present in school today and 19 were evacuated. A realistic fire emergency training was held to teach kids how to act in case of such an event. According to the simulated story, the fire started due to a botched experiment in the chemistry class. As a result, two fire trucks arrived. Firefighters in the schoolyard demonstrated how to act in case someone got trapped in a burning building. They even evacuated a child from the second floor of the building using a ladder. If you're standing there alone, it is scary. You have no one to talk to, adrenaline is overwhelming and you have no idea what to do. Firefighters also taught children how to use fire extinguishers of different types. If you have a powder type extinguisher, you have to take the fire hose, turn the valve and push the lever so it would start releasing powder. If it is a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher, you have to pick it up and push the trigger. To do that, you have to unlock it. The fire truck was the most interesting exhibit for the kids. Firefighters demonstrated all the tools in the truck and explained what they are for and how they work. <laughs> Such trainings are usually held in schools independently. Unfortunately, we rarely can attend such events. Time is always short. If there is a free moment, we will come to teach kids and show everything. Our school has an inclusive education system and we have a special needs children studying here. We have to be as ready as possible so that at any moment we would know who has to do what and when. The school is sure that because of the play-like form of fire emergency trainings, kids will learn and remember how to act in case an event would happen. Reported by Anna Romanovska, UATV.